What's up guys, we're going to do a real quick special edition Saturday. This is a custom that I'm working on. This is Combiner Wars Whirl. I'm not going to go through the limb transformations because we've seen all that before. I'm just going to show off the paint a little bit and the new headstock that I added. So, here we go. Got the sky blue. I left the original blue on there. I added in some black on the missiles there. Uh, added in some yellow on the combiner port there. So let's get him into robot mode and take a quick look at him. Alright. <clears throat> and transforms the same way if you have Combiner Wars Alpha Bravo. That's the mold that I used for this. So, oh, gonna need to open up these flaps here. Open up that. Turn these around. Peg it into the sides. There we go. Get this open. And I like to do the legs this way. Uh, the paint does make it a little bit thicker to get out. I didn't trim anything down, so it's still pretty solid. Alright. Tab in the knees right there. Split these apart. And again, the paint makes it a little difficult to do. And there we go. Alright, let's tab those knees back in there. Turn the waist to 180. This part comes up like that, folds down like so. And I'm going through the transformation in case you wanted to look at the Alpha Bravo mold, but all right, there we go. And then let's turn his head 180, and you see Whirl. There we go. That is a headstock that I made for my Shapeways page. It fits on there pretty tightly, but pretty securely. He can look right, left, nothing down, but a good bit up. So plenty there, and the headstock does not affect the limb modes at all. You've got plenty of room to do that. So there we go. Just going to show that off a little bit. Threw in some black on the thighs. That's all flat black. And there you go. All right. See you all next time.